Hey, how you doing ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Richard. Today we are here. We're going to be talking about a phone that is a budget phone, but is a great budget phone. If you're in the market of looking for a phone, but you don't want to break the bank, this is the phone for you. What am I talking about? It is none other than the Google Pixel 3a XL. Now, why is this phone the best of the bunch? The reason this is the best of the bunch is because of the price. The 3A is $399 and the 3A XL is $420. Well, for me, thank God I'm with T-Mobile and in the jump program, I only had to put down $80 and I was good to go. Now, the one that I picked was the clearly white. Now, as you can see right here, it is clearly white. Um, it is all plastic, but it still has that uh, kind of skin on it to c protect the back. Even though when you're holding it, you're still going to slip and slide, even though it's plastic. I'm kind of glad it is plastic because of the simple fact that I don't have to worry about breaking the phone by shattering the back. Now, the front, I still got to worry about, but hey, I still got to do what I got to do. Now let's go ahead straight from T-Mobile and let's see what's underneath the hood. First and foremost, it has Night Sight. It also has Google Assistant. It is a 6.0 FHD OLED display with 2160 by 1080 with the OLED at 402 PPL. It is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 670 yeah, I know that's not the best, but it's better than most budget phones. Also, at the same time, it is a, it is a 2.0 gigahertz plus 1.7 gigahertz, 64-bit octa-core adrenaline 615 with titanium M security module. What that means is you're getting goodness underneath the hood instead of that 32 gig. You're getting 64 gig of goodness. Now, it is a 12.2 pixel in the rear. And then in the front, it is a 8.0 megapixel. So basically, you got an 8 in the front and a 12.2 in the back. Also, it is a Bluetooth 5.0. You got portrait mode. Other uh, stuff you got is the weight is... 5.8 ounces. The size is 63 times 3 times 0.3 inches. The battery is a uh, 3700 milliamp. So that's a you know kind of good, kind of beastly as I say. Also at the same time, the battery stand time is 13 days. Now that's what I need in a budget phone. Also, the one thing that I could say was shocking to me is this is a Type C by type C. What do I mean? The cord has two type C ends. It doesn't have a type C and then you know the regular. Now also it could do the Wi-Fi it is 802 by 11. The, we already know about the processor. We already know that it's Android. The RAM is 4 gig. The maximum expandable memory is zero. That's a bad look. You cannot expand the memory. So if you're looking for a budget phone where you can put your 32, 64, or 128 gig SD card in, sorry, this ain't the phone for you. Also, at the same time, this phone in the box, you get the Google Pixel 3a XL, you get an 18-watt USB-C power adapter, and you get a 1M USB-C to USB-C cable, usb 2.0 starting guide and also terms and condition so also let me give you and we're going to start this out right we want to give you the badness of the phone now the only thing that's bad in my opinion is the fact that even though this is a google phone and google listens to their customers sorry about that but at the end of the day they did not expand that memory. You cannot put an SD card in there. That right there broke and crushed my heart real big time. But that's it for the bad. 
Let's get into the good. The first thing that's great is the fact that, look at that. You see that hole right there, Apple? You see that? It has a 3.5 headphone jack. That's right. I can listen to my music on either of my headphones. How about that? Also, at the same time, it is USB-C. That is a best thing in the world for it to be USB-C. And it is a budget phone. Well, not USB-C, Type-C. Sorry about that. Also, the one thing that I like about this phone. Hold on. Let's turn on some more light. There we go. Now, another great thing about this phone is it usually phones have two speakers. No, no, no. Not this device. It actually has three speakers in this phone. You got your two speakers down here, and then you got your speaker right up here where you talk. That's right. Three. That's something that I haven't seen in a very long time in a phone. Now, another great thing about this phone when it comes to Google and Android, they went light. They didn't go so heavy like most phones. That's the one thing I hate more than anything. Now, another thing that was shockingly like so pleasant to me was the fact that, as you see, it's only one button to use. Yeah, you can say two when you have the arrow to go back, but just to swipe up, and you can go ahead and swipe your item away. You can hold it and bring that up. See if we can focus on Here's that. Here's the definition of bring up. Well, Chiefly of a ship okay. come to a stop. Okay. <laughs> but the fact of the matter that Google actually thought about the people, not just themselves. With most companies and most phones, you're going to have a back. You're going to have a home button. And then you're going to have a button to hold. So you can go ahead and get all your other accessories. Nah, nah, nah. Not with this phone. They thought about it, and it's all covered by one button. Tell me that's not the greatest thing since sliced bread. The fact of the matter, the fact of the matter that this is also a Google phone also gives us those real good goodies that Google has brought to the Pixel brand. The fact that you get all that good stuff, that right there, is a number one in my book. And to wrap this up before we get out of here, another best thing, like I said before, my top out of ten, my top zero, my top one, the camera. This camera is the best camera I've ever used in my life. This camera actually even beats my own camera that I'm using right now. The best thing about this phone right here is the fact that when it comes to taking the best picture, it take the best picture every single time. No bull, no crap, no nothing, all the time. Like watch. Swipe that. Clear that all. And I'm about to take a picture of myself live. Let's see if I can do it. Can't kind of see it, but it's still great. At the end of the day, if you're looking for, oh yeah, and I forgot another thing. NFC, something that I haven't seen in a budget phone in a long while. I've been dealing with a lot of stuff, and because of that, I've been on a budget king mode because I'm trying to get myself a vehicle. And because of that, at the end of the day, this phone, out of 10 out of 10, gets a 10 out of 10 out of 10. Once again, you looking for a budget phone? To get yourself together, no matter if you're going to high school, college, got a new job, want a new phone, this is the phone for you. I'm your boy Richard, and this is definitely your number one best budget phone.
Thank you very much, and I'll see y'all next time.